be showing you how to uh, share internet with your Xbox 360 with your from your Mac. Um, first, open up Network Preferences and make sure Airport is above Internet. Um, if it's not, you can change it by going to Settings and Set Service Order. And you can just drag Airport above Internet or whatever. Um, go over to Internet now and copy my numbers as you see them. Uh, IP as 10.10.10.2, subnet mask as 255.255.255.0 and we're going to skip router right now but uh, DNS is 208.67.222.222 Um, to find the router, you're going to go up to Terminal, or you can Spotlight Search Terminal, I guess, and uh, you're going to type IFCONFIG space EN0, press enter, and that first set of numbers, uh, INET, and then eight numbers, mine's 192.168.2.1. You're going to copy your set of numbers into the router space um, provided. And go ahead and click apply and go up and press show all and uh, go down to sharing and uh, check internet sharing on and have uh, a connection, have share connection from the airport to your internet. This is so you will put your internet from your uh, router to your Xbox 360 through your internet port. Um, once done with that, go up to uh, the Apple key or Apple button in the top left and click about this Mac and do more information. And go down to the networks tab and the addresses um, column under uh, IP uh, mine's 10.0.0.2. Memorize that number or write it down on a piece of paper because we will use it later. And we're going to head over to the Xbox side now. Okay, um, now under Xbox, go to My Xbox and System Settings and then Network Settings. Configure Network and IP Settings. Uh, copy mine as you see them. Um, it's going to be 10.10.10.3 it's just plus one um, 255.255.255.0 and 10.10.10.2 um, under DNS settings uh, once again do manual and this is under your about my Mac this is the addresses one I told you to memorize or write down and the secondary is the one you found in terminal, the INET one. So I'm going to show you once it should be plugged in. If not already, uh, plug it in. Um, it's plugged into the back of my iMac, or it could be plugged into your MacBook, um, PowerBook, MacBook Pro, Mac Mini. Um, and then you need to plug it into the back of your Xbox 360. Uh, this saves you $100 if you do it right and you get it to work. Um, I mean, the only thing you have to pay for is the cord, which um, usually comes with the router if you already have one. Uh, so if you go ahead and test the connection, um, test Xbox Live, uh, go up to yes. Um, the the Xbox 360 to network uh, should work, yeah, and network to internet should work. Um, the one that partly works, I mean, you can still play online, is uh, internet to uh, Xbox Live. Um, it'll go, it'll finish, but it's a, uh, a caution, and this is just for uh, the NAT type, and you don't need to worry about that. Um, 
the NAT type is just so people can play like you can have NAT type 1 or 2 or 3. Um, the ideal one is NAT type 2. Uh, that's so you can talk to people with the same same NAT type. And uh, once again, I'm Joe from Ditechite. Uh, thanks and good luck. The pleasures of the first world laid out.